a mom and a long-term sick person. I'm here to talk about what happens when the things that you can't eat are longer than a list of things that you can. You can eat healthy without spending your paycheck at Whole Foods. <laughs> My family's been eating gluten-free and limited dairy for years. I'm also allergic to potatoes. So um, there's a lot of things that we can't eat. We thought it was difficult then. We didn't know it was about to get much worse. This year, I was, I was diagnosed with chronic kidney disease, which meant I had to go on a renal diet. That meant low sodium, protein, potassium, phosphorus. And the doctor said we had to lose a combined 300 pounds, my whole family. So nobody tells you that uh, when you get handed a complicated diet that you have to go through the stages of loss, denial, anger, bargaining, depression. <laughs> you have to work through all these stages. There's so many changes you have to, uh, that you have to work through. You have to rethink your relationship with food. You have to, uh, you have to face all these emotions. See, like the night <laughs> at the refrigerator. That's, that's out of the question now. <laughs> all right, there's so many complicated, confusing, conflicting emotion, things, that information about food. You have to be prepared for all the marketing. Uh, author Michael Pollan makes it simple. Eat, eat food. Um, Mostly plants, and I forgot the rest of it. All right, the labels. You have to read every single label. Um, you have to pay attention to, to portion size. I, you know, I can eat lemons, but uh, oranges, that's, that has too much potassium. And going vegan wouldn't be enough because uh, vegetable proteins are just as bad as the animal ones. Um, I had to, um, as time shifted, I thought about, okay, I can't eat anything to, well, how do I make this more interesting? So I reworked my recipes. Eating for health is important, but so is eating for comfort, community, and identity. We had to figure out how we could make the foods that we loved. We didn't want to feel like we were missing out by not dining out. I also became more aware. Um, I wanted to know what it is I was eating, how it was grown, what happened to it on the way to my table. Would you want to eat here? Because, you know, I really don't want to eat the stuff that was grown in this field. Yuck. So, anyway, ordering at a restaurant. Okay, you're going to love this. Um, I, I de practice defensive uh, dining the way that old people in Sun City drive. It takes me <laughs> forever to get there. And I'm always paranoid that somebody's out to get me. Um, doable does not mean being perfect, okay? I, I screw up, I have bad days, I eat things I shouldn't, and I'm paying for it. But you know, the thing is, is that you get back, you get back to it, you just keep on trying. Um, it's, it's like, you know, when you have a, a broken gas gauge, and you constantly have to pay attention to where you're at. Um, there's this thing called nutrition guides, and you look for them in cookbooks, and every major uh, food chain has to have one, so you ask for it. I could actually eat at Denny's. Isn't that a surprise? <laughs> um, the effort for fresh, low-cost veggies is worth it. There's this place called Market on the Move. They sell 60 pounds of produce for only 10 bucks. It's a lot of processing on the day that you get it, but it's so worth it. Okay, I love Super Blender. This is, this is my friend. I gave it a name, but now because of Super Blender, I'm now my own gluten-free bakery, coffee shop, and smoothie bar because I can make all these things at home now. I gain back some of the things I've lost. Um, I've saved, the family has saved so much money. This is, this is just crazy. Um, but because we're not eating so much cheeses and meats, um, you know, because we're eating less of them, and we're making more of like fresh veggies and rice that we can buy in bulk, and we're not doing the processed foods. I can still shop at Walmart, but just barely. Uh, <laughs> I just don't pay attention to most of the aisles. And I treat it like a video game, you know? So some of the, some of the aisles, like the cookies and the candies, that's my boss battle. Um, growing, your own, growing your own food is a lot of fun, um, but it doesn't save you as much money as I thought. Um, you know, it's, it's, and it takes a while, <laughs> but it's fun, the bragging rights, you know? But here, seriously, I want to tell you all that it's worth it, okay? You can eat healthy, you can enjoy it, you can save money, and you can improve your health. Our family has lost 50 pounds now. And we've done it as a family. And I want to leave you with this quote. I'm Cinder McDonald, and I hope I've given you something to think about. Thank you all so very much.